Hold on to your butts. Hello there, I'm Dave James and welcome to a very special edition of Squabblecast. So, Jurassic Park, Ash, which uh, <laughs> is a film I know is like dear to pretty much everyone alive, uh, yeah. if you're our age anyway. Even, even for for older generations, Jurassic Park was, was a, a movie that took such a concept of, of dinosaurs, and you've seen it in, you know, Journey to the Center of the Earth, you've seen it in loads of, um, all the claymation movies. Um, all the original Lost World. Yeah, but I remember, this is this is how much of an impact of seeing a movie had on me, I remember the day, like it was yesterday, and for a seven-year-old to remember what I was doing at the exact time it was it was a, it, it was Saturday and um, there was a massive thunderstorm on and I remember going to see the cinema at the UCI up Merry Hill yeah. um, and I, I remember being absolutely scared to death frightened Um, obviously directed by Steven Spielberg, and if we really have to list his credits... <laughs> Steven Spielberg is, is a household yeah. name, and a, a guy that I share a birthday with. Really? Yeah, 18... Is that, is that from my MDB, by the way? No, 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 my mum told me many, many years ago, I was like, who do I share a birthday with? And uh, she was like, uh, Steven Spielberg. My first toy from a museum that I ever got was a little lead cast triceratops. And I became fascinated as a kid, as all kids do, because I think they're bigger than us and they were something that doesn't exist today. And I think because it doesn't exist today, there's no immediate direct access, it becomes the thing that mythology is made of that makes mythology so fascinating. It's an ongoing joke that I've, I've held that the, the, the CGI and the, the, the graphics in the movie have held up longer than the technology used in the movie. Yep. Like CD-ROM, Unix, yeah. all these all these Gucci systems in the day were, were being implemented in the film are, are now long forgotten. It's an interactive CD-ROM! Look, see, you just touch the right part of the screen and it talks about whatever you want. For those two hours, you believe what's happening on that screen because there's not one point where you think bollocks that wouldn't happen or bollocks. It's, you know, for those two hours, you 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 are captivated by it. I think yeah. Sam Neill as Alan Grant is a great character. He's got yeah. one of my favourite introductions of all time. It terrifies that kid, <laughs> scaring the shit out of that kid. Yeah. You know, that's relevant to one of the last scenes in the movie with the Raptors with a kid. Yeah. In in the kitchen. Point is. You are alive when they start to eat you. So, you know, try to show a little respect. Okay. You know I mean, you got Jeff Goldblum as well. It's so cool. Everything he did, his walk was cool. Like when he puts the seatbelt on in the in the helicopter at the beginning, yeah. he does this cool little <laughs> wicky thing, and he's just so he's so like oh man, he's flying. Because he's one of those characters in movies where he's cool, and it's like if he knew this guy in real life, you'd mm. fucking hate him. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you would. You'd be like this guy's a dick. <laughs> I really hate that man. But he isn't in the movie that much. No, he isn't. Because he gets injured, and then that's him. He, all you see him is lying on a desk. He might have the odd bit of dialogue here, and then, and that's it. He doesn't actually, he's not involved in the movie that much after he gets crippled by the T-Rex. Um, but he's still a brilliant character. I'll tell you the problem with the scientific power that you're, that you're using here. Uh, it didn't require any discipline to attain it. You know, you read what others had done, and you and you took the next step. You didn't earn the knowledge for yourselves, so you don't take any responsibility for it. 
You stood on the shoulders of geniuses uh, to accomplish something as fast as you could, and before you even knew what you had, you, you patented it and packaged it and slapped it on a plastic lunchbox, and now you're selling it. You want to sell it. Well, Jurassic Park! The dinosaurs are on a rampage, and only the JP team is tough enough to stop them. Grant fires his net launcher. Ellie launches her grappling hook. Hulk Doom fires a tranquilizer. Each sold separately. It's happening, but only at Jurassic Park. Um, Richard Attenborough's got to be one of the high points of the film, hasn't he? Oh, well, absolutely. Yeah. He, he, he does play that lovable sort of... Well, he's, old... again, he, again, in real life, you'd hate him. Mm. It's like, yeah, send all these people there to die. Yeah. <laughs> like, save your speeches, mate. My people are dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go shave your beard off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> he should have sent his brother there to do a bit of narration. Yeah, exactly. You gotta be. Oh, God. It wants to defecate, and the only place it's happy doing that, oddly enough, is down on the ground. It only does it about once a week, but why does it come down to the ground to do it? And why does it nearly always choose to do so in exactly the same place? That is one big pile of shit. Well, apart from the effects and the cast, what I think makes Jurassic Park really, well, on Spielberg's direction, has mm. got to be good old John Williams. Yeah, yeah you took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> Music that is iconic, as John Williams is so good at doing, but it added that last finishing epic touch to it. The, it, it. That melody that he created for Jurassic Park is one that is, you hear people humming down the street. Yeah. <laughs> and it sounds funny, but he's like, do, 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 do. He's just like, yeah, I can understand. And then you start fucking humming it. <laughs> and then, but, there's two different melodies out of uh, the John Williams did in Jurassic Park. I mean, you've got the the, the, the nice epic one, and then you've got the, uh, the the nice slow one. That oh, I'm not going to hum it because uh, it yeah. sounds like a twat. <laughs> the one they use for any scene that's meant to be whimsical. And, yeah. Yay! Look at the dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> He's gone. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Yeah, I, I, I'm flying to Hawaii as we're about to go to location for the first Jurassic Park, and the actor who plays the lawyer, if you remember it, who gets eaten and dies, um, I meet for the first time at the airport because we're sharing a, a, a plane to uh, Hawaii, and he says, uh, as he first in our first conversation, oh Jeff, hi, da 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 da. da, da. He's a lovely guy and a wonderful actor, and, and oh, we're playing, yes, this is going to be fun, and can you imagine, this, this, this is great, nice to meet you. Hey, I wonder if I should bring it up now, he says, but I have an idea that I'm really going to talk to Steven Spielberg about and kind of lobby for. I think, for the good of the movie, it's better if my character lives and your character dies. What do you think? And I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. We can't talk about the whole thing. You know, feel feel free to. Isn't that funny? It's the it's that that's that that's what you do. Can I uh, assume as well that you're not a massive fan of the Lost World Jurassic Park? When I'm watching it, I enjoy watching it, and I'm like, actually, this isn't bad. But then, as soon as I finish watching it, I'm like actually 
that wasn't you know that wasn't that good that wasn't any anywhere near as good as as what it could have been but michael Crichton wasn't into the idea of actually writing a sequel novel right. to it mm -hmm. i mean spielberg basically forced him to do it essentially and then and then didn't really use much of his material no but he seemed obsessed with it and then you watch the film and it, it seems it's spielberg autopilot yeah there are a lot of sequel cliches in there like um what if you take all the best bits from the first one t-rex so what did they do in the second one they put two t-rexes in there they yeah. thought in a thought that doubling up was going to make it double the movie and then they thought right we've, we've poured all this screen time into the t-rexes and, and so on we've got five ten minutes for the raptors and then the raptors are ready for ten minutes we they're in that they turn up in that long grass They managed to kill off the entire, the, the rest of the extra cast yeah. in, there, in one scene. The plot is just contrived, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. I mean, to get um, Ian Malcolm, Jeff Goldblum back to the island, because obviously he's like, I'll never do that in a million years. No. They, they basically can't him into going because his girlfriend's already there. Sarah! 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 How many Sarahs do you think are on this island? Sarah! Not only is his girlfriend on the island, but his daughter's there as well. Yeah. Yeah. And he's easily the most useless character yeah. in the film. And why did she stay away? Yeah, yeah like I said, it was just a cop out there. Like the, the kids, having the kids in the first film was such a success. We need the kid in the second one who's slightly yeah. older and she was slightly older and, and and yet she kicked the shit out of a raptor <laughs> yeah they so subtly set up the gymnastics bit of exposition <laughs> near the start it's like why are we why are we being told about this <laughs> uh, but anyway you got your own stuff you got your your uh, gymnastics competition you've been training for that for months gymnastics i scrubbed out dad i got cut from the team thanks for knowing School cut you from the team? But I thought that was the next logical step for this. Well, dinosaurs attacking us. Much like yeah. much like Predator. Yeah. Predator was first in the jungle, then he went to the city. Bit where he's running down the uh, the street, yeah, and then you briefly see some uh, no Japanese tourists, yeah. <laughs> Appar <Godzilla. laughs> appar apparently, what they say, we we left Tokyo to get away from this. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, it's one of those that I, I, I watch just to have in the background. Yeah. Um, because, it, let's face it, it is a Jurassic Park film. And even a shit Jurassic Park film is still better than a lot of stuff that, that you know, that, that is out there. Um, it obviously has its flaws, which we've, we've, which we've just highlighted, but it's, yeah. still, it's still a decent movie. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ah, that's how it always starts. But then later there's running and then screaming. So uh, how was it this time around? Uh, because you weren't in the second one, weren't in the sequel. Uh, has it been a long time between Dinosaurs 1 and 3? About eight years. It's a pretty long time in my book, yeah. So uh, what was the reason for not doing the sequel for you? Well, uh, the reason I didn't do number two was that Michael Crichton didn't write me into the sequel. Uh, I'm sure he regrets that now. It's a gross oversight and... Uh, He'll rue the day, but it's too late now, you know? <laughs> yes, yes, I'm sure he is. He's probably uh, got egg on his face and serve him bloody right, I say. It could almost be paradise. My God, I'd forgotten. We have a landing strip up here. You ahead. cannot Jeff. land on this island. Oh, my God! Let's all die! But in this forbidden place, where man has tampered with nature, this is how you make dinosaurs? This is how you play God.
something unexpected has evolved. They can talk to each other. To a degree we never imagined. On July 18th, you probably won't get off this island alive. It's not just a walk in the park. They just set a trap. They actually set a trap. Like I said, I remember the exact circumstances in the day that I watched the first movie. I remember the exact circumstances in the day I watched the third one for the uh, completely different reasons. And I went to go and see it with uh, our very own Scotty Doc or Scott Hadlington. Um, and we went to go and see Jurassic Park 3 and it was just soul-destroyingly bad. <laughs> And, and they, managed, they managed to bring Sam Neill back to the franchise. Yeah. Well. Uh, again, involved with a kid. Yeah. They were going to get a kid. Some rich kid has gone missing on the island. Well, no, in thing. fact, he wasn't actually a rich kid, was he? Because they, 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 his parents um, claimed to be rich. Right. But they weren't. They own like a bathroom installation company. Right. Um, the acting in the movie is yeah. abysmal. It is. It's like Especially these, T. Leone. Yeah, it's like these, character, these guys. Um, had just give, been given a script a day before they were shooting. It's got right, easy lines, and they hadn't been able to immerse themselves into the character. They hadn't been able to, re, you know, to, to practice it. It was like they just they were reading off an auto script. Well, it's um, like half of their dialogue was, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then to, to the counter dialogue was, please would you not do that <laughs> from from Doctor Grant. Look, you have to believe me. This was a stupid decision, but I did it with the best intentions. With the best intentions. Some of the worst things imaginable have been done with the best intentions. Why in all hell would we have a dream sequence in which Dr. Grant <laughs> is terrified by a raptor shouting, Alan! Alan! <laughs> it is, it's, the, it's the most poorly done jump scare of all time. <laughs> He lifts his hat off his eyes and he just goes, oh, Alan! <laughs> oh God, I mean, I wonder what how it would have sounded to people before Jurassic Park. Right. Know, to just go, right, uh, we've got this new movie coming out, Dinosaurs Theme Park on an island. I wonder what people would have said. Because obviously we were too young then to, to pass judgment. I think, I, th I think, you know, most people would say, fuck yeah, bring yeah. it on, yeah. to be honest. 